What's up, guys? Today I wanna I wanna talk about one of my favorite Monoskin songs, Coraline. And I do cool or I sort of know the lyrics, you know, I've heard the song a thousand times, but I never actually read the lyrics and really broke them down. Their true meaning. True meaning. Now I think they have a bit of a controversial meaning to them. You know, they're a little dark, very I think there's a part that's kind of disturbing in there for some people. But we might not even listen to the song. This might just all be about the lyrics, guys. So I hope if you're bored with that, I don't know what to tell you. Then you don't care about lyrics. Um, Yeah. So let's pull these lyrics up. And we're going to look them through. I want to know the exact meaning of this song tell me your truths Coraline Coraline tell me your truths Coraline or Coraline tell me your truths Coraline tell me your truths now what he's saying there in my opinion is don't hide your pain you can let me know let me comfort you um let me be there. You know, I can't help you if I don't know what's going on. I can't. I can't help you because you won't tell me. You won't reveal what is wrong. So I believe that's what that that, that is. Um, Coraline, as beautiful as the sun, a warrior with a zealous heart. Zealous. I'm not sure what zealous means. Is that the same as jealous? Let me see. I don't want to get nothing wrong in this video. I think it means jealous. I don't know what the hell it means, to be honest. Full of, full of, characterized by, or to do zeal. Okay. Or do to zeal. Or, all right, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. There's not the same meaning it, as jealous. <laughs> all right. A warrior with a zealous heart. Hair like red roses. Those, those copper wires are precious. My love, take them to me. If you'll hear the bells singing, you'll see Coraline weeping. Those copper wires are precious. My love, take them to me. He's He's talking about her hair. In the copper wires are her hair. Right? Red hair like red roses. Those copper wires are precious, my love. Take them to me. If you'll hear the bells singing, you'll see Coraline weeping. And she takes the sorrow of others and she carries it inside of her. She has to be this strong person. She she's the figure that everyone's looking to. You know, I'm getting like a queen kind of vibe, not the band queen, but like princess, <laughs> princesses and and kings and queens, that kind of queen. Sorry, I'm trying to fix this audio. All right, I think that's better. I hope. Um, But she knows the truth. Going on is not for everyone. With the heart split in two halves, it's cold already. Okay. So let's say... Robin Williams, for instance, he knew what was going on inside of him. He knew that something wasn't right, that he wasn't happy, that he was going through some shit. He knew that, but it wasn't for everybody to know. This is similar. You know, no one can know. No one can know what Coraline has inside of her, the demons she has inside of her. Now, guys, this is my interpretation. This is how I'm reading it. Doesn't mean I'm correct. So, yeah. All right, going on is not for everyone. The heart split in two halves. It's cold already. She's a child, but she feels some kind of weight, and sooner or later she'll break. That's self-explanatory. Um, you know, you could only hold weight for so long you could only hold yourself up for so long and keep going strong for so long um for instance you know there was a time i worked two jobs and i felt good but by like the third week the fourth week the fifth week 
it was come it was wearing on me now this is physical i'm talking physical but mentally too you know i was like i can't fucking do this you know i blah 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 i got no life i'm tired all the time it's not worth it and uh you know so it it wore on me now this is not as this is nowhere near as bad as what Coraline is dealing with. All right. People will say she's not worth anything. She can't even go out of a simple door, but one day, one time she will make it. She can't get even go out of a simple door. What I'm getting from that is she's one of those. I forget what it's called where you can't even leave the house. Because you're scared of the world. Now, I could be way off. I could be sounding like a goofball right here. But there's a thing. I forget what it's called where you can't leave the house. You can't. You're scared of the world. Now, I don't know if she has it to that extent or if that's what he's even saying. He could be saying a metaphor for that. But who knows? That's what I'm going with. And I told Coraline she can grow up to grab her stuff and then leave. But she feels a monster keeping her in a cage, covering her path of minds. And I told Coraline that she can grow up to grab her stuff, then leave. But Coraline doesn't want to eat. No, yes, Coraline would like to disappear. All right. So that is, you know, we've been in that place. I don't know. I mean, I think I've been in that place where you're just so depressed. You don't care about eating. You don't. You have no will to do anything, you know, to Coraline doesn't even have the urge or the 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 will to get out of bed and go grab her things and to leave and to live life. She don't want to eat. Caroline Coraline only wants to disappear. She wants to be dead to the world. She feels a monster keeping her in a cage. Not physically. Mentally, this monster has got a hold on her. He's he's taken over her. Because when you when something very damaging happens to you, it sticks with you. It stays with you for a long time, if not forever. If you don't get help, it could be devastating forever. All right, and Coraline weeps. Coraline is anxious. Coraline wants to see, but she's afraid of water. And perhaps like C is inside of her, and each word is an axe. A cut on her back, like a raft that sails in a swollen river. And perhaps the river is inside of her. Of her. That's really cool what he's doing there. He's using her body as a metaphor, her pain as a metaphor for all the things she's going through. The axe represents the cuts that are cutting her you know mentally caught all, mentally stabbing her you know when you're in pain mentally uh you get abused or mentally abused or you get screwed over by someone that's not real cuts but you feel it you feel that that shriek in your heart that anxious feeling and perhaps the sea inside her and each word is an axe she wants to do these things, but she's scared. She wants to go to the sea, but she's afraid of water because why is it? Why are things going to be good for me? You know, I'm going to drown, even though I like it and I want to feel it. It's going to, if I expose myself and get out of this black hole, I'm just going to get hurt again. I'll be fire and cold, a shelter during winter. I'll be what you breathe. I'll understand what's inside of you. And I'll be dark. I'll be water to drink. <sighs> Man, I'm running out of breath, guys. You smoke too much. You smoke too much. I'll be fire and cold, a shelter during winter. I'll be what you breathe. I'll understand what's inside of you. And I'll be water to drink. The meaning of good. I also be a soldier. I'll also be a soldier or a light at night. And I ask nothing in return, just a smile. Each of your smallest tears is an ocean of on my face. All right, so he's now he's talking from his perspective. You know, I I wish I can help you. What can I do? I will be your guardian. I will watch over you. I will hold you and and keep you safe and warm. And I'll 
be your soldier. I'll be your knight. I will cure you. I will do whatever you want. And I ask nothing in return. I don't want nothing. I just want you to smile and be happy again. I want you to feel the joy you used to feel in life. And Coraline weeps. Coraline is anxious. Coraline wants the sea, but she is afraid of water. And perhaps the sea is inside of her, and each word is an axe, a cut on her back like a raft that sails in a swollen river. And perhaps the river of, is inside of her, inside of her. Okay, now this is the part that I didn't want to talk about in my reaction because it was a little dark. And I don't know, people are, you know, people are touchy. This stuff bothers me too. Well, let's read it and then we'll see. We'll talk about it. And tell me your truths, Coraline, Coraline, 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 as beautiful as the sun, she lost the fruit of her womb. She never knew love, but a father who is nothing like a father. They have told her that in the city, there's a castle with walls strong, that if you go and live there, nothing will be able to hit you. Nothing will be able to hit you. All right. So when I heard the song, what I thought, I don't know if this is what he means, but I think it's the reason Coraline is so damaged is because of the big old word that we don't like to say, rape, which is a horrible thing and something that can do this to someone. When he says she lost the fruit of her womb, I'm thinking that's what he's referring to. And uh, I was like, man, that just made it real for me. You know, that made the song 10 times more not meaningful. You know, that's not like, oh, my God, that's meaningful. 10 times more real. You know, he went there. He wasn't scared to talk about something so dark. Now, I don't know if it's about the father doing it or someone else or the father not protecting her. But regardless, it is absolutely horrendous and horrible. Now, I could watch all the movies in the world, horror movies, the goriest movies you've seen, the most darkest stuff. But I watch a movie with one of those kind of scenes in it, a rape scene in it. And it bothers me. It does bother me. It, it, it's kind of cringy. I don't like seeing it. So, you know, that tells you how fucked up it is. The song is about a girl who is broken due to someone doing this thing to her. And uh, it would really be cool if they made a song about Coraline before, before the damage is done. What was Coraline like before? I don't know, guys. That's all we got. That is what the song is about. That is what I think it's about. That is why I love it. Because it is true to life. It is dark. It is beautifully written. It is amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. I love you. And we will see you in the next video. If you like these really, you know, break every line down videos, please let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you. Peace. When everything falls apart When you're dumb but you feel so smart Cause that's what mama's supposed to say Look both ways when you cross the street Keep a steady line and keep your feet straight And everything